the Rebirth RDA from Mike Vapes and Hell Vape. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Ben Vic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the Rebirth RDA from Hell Vape and Mike Vapes. Dual or single coil RDA, goon tips on top, uh, very interesting uh, deck design, single or dual coil available, you can fit your nice big coils in here as well. It's not the easiest deck to build on but I'll show you down low all about how that operates. As always from Hellvape comes with a load of good spares, you can drip with this or squonk with this. Um, it's got a, a extra 810 drip tips with it, it's got the converter to take it to a 510 tip. All the good stuff you get from Hellvape, a range of colours available as well, uh, and very well made, very affordable as always from Hellvape. So, this is it, the rebirth from Mike Vapes and, uh, and Hellvape. Let's go down low, uh, I'll show you this down low, I'll show you everything you get in the box as well, then we'll fly back up top for pros and cons, see you in a sec. Alright guys, here we are down low with the Rebirth RDA from Mike Vapes and Hellvape. This is the packaging, very cool as always, Hellvape. They make things very well, but they also make a really nice set of spares and extras that come with each item that they put out, which is always good. This is uh, the uh, stainless steel version. As you can see, it comes with this really funky 810 drip tip. Really, really cool. I love the engraving on the stainless steel one. I think it's really sharp, and it's such a cool logo as well. It's like a phoenix, I guess. Um, so there we go. Inside the barrel you can see what's going on there you've got your little latch there that uh, keeps it and makes it easy to take on and off you've got your air holes in there as well no major doming it's quite a cloudy big RDA this uh, but there we go awesome drip tip we've got the deck here as well this is the deck so what's going on here is uh, you put your two sets of leads in both in the set in the holes and uh, tighten it up here with the flathead screws just bend them over a little bit so they're bending over the uh, the air intake and uh, away we go we got a nice big deep juice well there's your air hole so it's sort of going up going up so it's more like an undercoil RDA uh, but a less leaky one uh, because the, the holes aren't exactly you know underneath it's not a vertical drop and then it's got that big juice well as well so from a squonking perspective it's like an undercoil style vape but uh, it will squonk without messiness uh, so pretty cool underneath we've got mic vapes serial number hell vape all that good stuff nice protruding pin uh, so that is that if we have another little look in the this box here we will get the extras Obviously this uh, comes with a squonk pin and a normal pin, which is always good. Let's see what else we get in this box as well. So you've got like a, a mini coily tool where you drop you drop that in and it's perfectly it's perfectly sized for the length of lead that they recommend. Uh, you get your Allen key and screwdriver. You get your 810 to 510 uh, converter there. You also get uh, a nice clear drip tip. It's good to throw in a clear drip tip um, because they, the clear drip tips match with anything. So if you're not happy with this one, then uh, you've got the clear one there. So let's get some coils in here and then wick it up and stir. This is the black one that I've been using a lot and here are some coils. So as you can see, you're sticking them in and you're bending them over and it uh, accommodates some nice juicy coils in here. Now I'm not going to say it's a super easy build, it's not actually a super easy build. Um, <laughs> you've just got to get it right. It, 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 basically my advice is stick them in, tighten them up and don't worry if it looks crazy because you can tidy it up, bend and twist and, and shape and get it right. You know, I'm not saying that's a super clean build there, uh, but I think it's neat enough. I think the height above the air intake is perfect as well. So I'm very, very happy with this uh, these coils and they've been performing superbly. Other thing to point out, you can single coil this RDA as well, and it does work very well in single coil. I ran a huge, big, big coil down here, and then when it got to here, I just split the wicks. So I split, cut the wick in half, and put half down one side, half down the other, same on this side, and uh, it single coiled absolutely fine, to be honest. I, I was really enjoying it in single coil mode. 
it is better suited to dual, but uh, single is definitely an option. I know at first it looks like it's not because you've got all four uh, wick things, but no, you can single coil it. I did, and uh, I enjoyed it. Okay, so let's uh, get some cotton in this and, uh, and then put it back together. Okay, there we go. So we've got it all uh, all wicked up. I'm just going to juice it up and show it you again. Uh, just get a nice head start for stick it back on the uh, top side. Don't want to waste my juice in that bottle. Uh, there we go. A bit more. There we go. Let's let that soak in, and uh, I'll just show you. In terms of wicking it, you just can't go wrong. You just cannot go wrong. You stick in a big lump of cotton down each hole. I strongly recommend not getting this bit messy. Don't put cotton in there. Um, but just uh, stick them in, you can't go wrong. The squonk is coming straight through there and just juicing it all up beautifully. Works absolutely fine. So there we go. I'll stick it back on my top side. There we go, back on the top side, looking great in black as well. Um, I have it like this, sort of half if you like, half. And this is one of my own drip tips, uh, an 810 tip that I just wanted to stick on here. Uh, but there we go, all back together. Uh, let's uh, let's go back up top for pros and cons of the Rebirth RDA from Mike Vapes and Hell Vape. Let's go. Okay guys, that was the Rebirth RDA from Mike Vapes and Hell Vape. Really nice RDA, really nice RDA, straight out the gate, I'm going to tell you that I'm really enjoying using it, especially on the top side. This thing squonks very, very well, it's a very nice squonking RDA. Really cloudy, really smooth airflow as well, let's give it a vape. So another one of these RDAs with all these little holes, I'm closing off at about halfway. Uh, super, super smooth through all those little air holes. Really smooth vape. The air is daggering at those coils from underneath um, and does, yeah, great flavour, great vape. Genuinely is. Do have a couple of negatives I want to point out. Um, first one being for squonking, this is a dream. It's an absolute dream. Uh, you've got the undercoil flavour, undercoil airflow flavour that you get from these type of RDAs, but without any messiness, out any leakiness. Juice comes up, feeds all the wicks, but doesn't go anywhere near that air hole. Um, really nice deep juice well, and it squonks very, very well. However, when I dripped with this RDA, a little bit of juice does still go down those holes. It's just gravity, it's just inevitable. There's no way around that, really. Um, if, you, if you're glunking your juice in the top, some will go down, you know. And if you use these type of RDAs, you'll know that, and that's just the way it is. Definitely something to bear in mind there. The other slight negative... I'm going to put on this is it's and it's not a big one at all but it's definitely something to bear in mind it's not the easiest RDA to build on it's not the easiest RDA to mount your coils on when you first put them in uh, they're twisting and turning you've got to get two sets of leads in each hole uh, and you've got to get the height right as well it does come with a tool to help with that um, but yeah, it just, it, it's not, it's a slightly fiddly build. It's a slightly fiddly build. Also with those flathead screws, you know, you've got to get it all in. My advice is simply put them in. Don't worry about how they look at first. Just make sure that both sets of leads are the right length. Get them in and then, and then manipulate them. Then bend them, twist them and shape them. And you can get a really nice looking build. Uh, but it's not the easiest. It's not the easiest deck to, to mount coils on. That's a slight negative, but definitely something to bear in mind. If you're new to RDAs, you're new to building, Maybe this isn't the best first RDA for, for you. Uh, if you're an accomplished builder or you know a long time vapor, no issue at all. You'll have no issue putting your coils in here. I promise you that. Uh, but I did want to put that out there. Beyond that, beyond those two things, I think it's a cracking RDA. Great flavor, great clouds. I've really enjoyed this RDA, both single and dual coil. Uh, for single coil, you literally just split your wick in half 
and put uh, a bit down each side and it, it's a very nice single coil if you're going to go for the single coil route i recommend a nice big beefy coil uh, it's still a big deck it's still a big rda so you definitely need some power if you're going for the single coil route so you want a nice big chunky coil if you're going for dual coil flavors outstanding flavor and clouds for days with this rda um, as you saw the build i had down low it's absolutely putting it out and this is just at 55 watts Squonk's an absolute treat, nice big squonk hole. It just comes up, feeds all that wick, uh, and it's happy days. I also really like the look of this RDA. I really like the logo it's got on it. It's really nicely engraved. It's a really smart looking RDA in all the colors as well. I, I think it looks great. I think it's a very smart, nice looking RDA, which is what Hellvape are doing, really. Hellvape are doing very nice looking RDAs. Uh, the Equitas, for example, or Equitas, or whatever it was called, that was a, a very nice looking RDA as well. Really impressed with that. No issues with build quality or anything like that. Uh, no issues with day-to-day -day use of it. I'm not having any trouble with like different 810 tips or putting the barrel on and off. O-ring tension, perfect. Everything's great. Everything's absolutely great. Just those two little things to consider. Um, I think it's a really good RDA. Great job, Mike, if, uh, if you do catch this video. Uh, great job. Really good RDA. Definitely, definitely an, an upgrade on what, what RDAs you've done up to this point. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's great. Another good RDA from Hellvate. Really, really making a name for themselves as uh, the affordable RDA makers of choice, you know. Uh, another another great RDA from them. So if you're in the market for an RDA, particularly for squonking, check this one out. I think it's great. I've been Vevin Vic. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've got one of these, how you're getting on with it. Like and subscribe if you're not already. Loads of amazing reviews coming up soon. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.